Hey guys, Shell here. Welcome back to some more closes. So, I've got mail. Here's my login reward. And here's my new attendance. It's my lucky chick, uh, pet. Thing. Is this a costume? Uh, right click. Obtained a new pet. Lucky chick. I can go up to level 50. <laughs> it's already maxed. It's already an adult. Huh. So, instantly restores 10% HP and MP. When it uses its skill. Nice. Exploration only for that. Found item bonus, 5%. Huh. But undress gives me, uh... Great power equals great responsibility. See, I'm keeping my beloved anchor. I never thought I'd call it an anchor beloved before. Oh. Okay. I'm in a song. <sighs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Huh? Why long face? Is there something wrong? Miss Kim sent me a voice recording of your phone call with Callbuck. She wanted to know if I had any idea what Callbuck was trying to say. So I listened to her from start to finish, but there are parts that I don't understand at all. So Astaroth has the ability to call the dragon's power. That's why neither the dimensional monsters nor its closest can beat him. That literally means he's invincible, isn't it? Over if either, neither dimensional monsters nor closest can beat him? But why does Kalbuk keep saying neither dimensional monsters nor closest? And multiple times too, why not just to say everyone? That's because only a human can defeat Astaroth. Uh, it doesn't make sense now. But maybe there's a reason why he said that. It could be a hint. Thanks for explaining it to me. But really, I was trying to say I have no clue what he's talking about. Anyway, happy to be of help. Maybe you should talk to some more people for clues. Neither human or monster. Wait. That quest really just say neither human or monster? I don't know. Only a human, I believe, can take him out, right? That's why Kalbuk still had a half human in him. Because he needed to still have his humanity to be able to take him out. Ah, oh, Yuri, I remember. I remember now. Huh, what do you remember? I just thought of it while listening to your conversation with Kalbuk. When I connected with Hekka's mind, Hekka said this. The dragon's power can only be held by someone who is neither human nor a dimensional monster. What? Neither human nor a dimensional monster? Yes, I'm sure that's what he said. What if Astaroth is neither man nor a dimensional monster? That could explain how he defeated Hekka. Because the dragon's power only works on humans and dimensional monsters. Does something like that really exist? Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm sure- sorry, that's all I remember. Oh, do you think Carol would know something? She's the pro at these things. Go and ask her, I'll tell her what I remember too. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I like riddles, sometimes I just don't at all. Ah, uh, hi there. I just got an email from Agent Selene sent me. Yes, I get it now. I know what Kalbuk Tux means and how to take down Astaroth as well. But his method, I'm not sure if I should tell you. Just tell me, I have to know. Uh, I can s say n no when it, you, you give me those puppy dog eyes. Alright, here's my theory. Let's be clear, what we call Phase Force is named that simply as a matter of convenience. To be accurate, the Phase Force of Dimensional Monsters and the Phase Force used by humans have opposite properties. Technically, Phase Force of Dimensional Monsters is called First Phase Force, and the Phase Force of Humans is called Second Phase Force. Because of their opposite properties, the First Phase and Second Phase repel each other. This is the concept of dimensional pressure. But besides these two forms of Phase Force, there are scholars who believe in the type of Phase Force that can be produced by balancing the First and Second Phase Forces. They call this new concept the Phase Force the Third Force. Third Phase Force? But there haven't been any confirmed uses of Third Phase Force. It's obvious if you think about it. Oh, am I going to be one, become one of those uh, Third Phase Force people? Humans can only use Second Phase Force, while Dimensional Monsters can only use First Phase Force. But there's a being that can use Third Phase Force. That would ma make it. Neither a human nor a Dimensional Monster. In other words, a hybrid. Yeah, of human and Dimensional Monster, like Kalbuk. I was right. Half-human and half-dimensional monster? Th that's Kalbuk Tux! 
Ness and Hana too. This might explain why Ash and Dust did what they did. No phase force, neither human nor dimensional monsters, can stand up to Astaroth's dragon power. But third phase force is that why they were trying to make hybrids like Kalbuk and Hannah. That must be the way. The way to defeat Astaroth, as Kalbuk Tuck said. Just like I also said. You have to be a human oh, and a dimensional monster. Oh, hold on. I'm afraid there's a new threat. Some of the dimensional monsters in the demi plane are acting suspiciously. They naturally exhale, exhale a noxious gas, and that gas is mixing with the clouds above Gangnam. If rain falls down from these poison clouds, anybody exposed to the weather will become very ill. They'll suffer ra skin rashes, headaches, nausea, joint pain, vertigo, erections, whoops, swelling of the hands and feet, blurred of <laughs> vision, severe constipation, seizures, oh, and also hair loss. So please, I need you to eliminate the dimensional monsters that start poisoning the clouds. I don't know about you, but I really don't want to lose my hair. Um, that it? I know there's a quest over here still. Him? Carol said only third phase force can defeat Astaroth, and the only ones who can use third phase force are hybrids. Yuri, I'm warning you. Don't think about useless things. Huh? But I haven't said anything. I can read you like a book. That idea in your head is not even worth considering. Yes, it is. Make me into a hybrid. I want to see that. Once you become a hybrid, you can never be fully human again. You will never be the same. Your distance is important to the world as kingdom is. Don't try to do anything stupid. That's an order. Heh. <laughs> Don't be such a pessimist. Ah, the radio. Ash and Dust are hijacking it again. Aha, you finally learned the truth. There's only one way to save your city with our power. We can make you into the strongest hybrid the world has ever seen. You save the city and we get rid of the thorn in our side. Mutually beneficial, you see. We'll be waiting for you at the outpost, Yuri Seo. We'll transform you. Come. We've lost communication. I am giving you a direct order. Do not go to them. I'm sure there are other ways to save gang them. Please. If you accept their proposal, you won't be able to become the government employee you wanted to be. That's too bad, but I'm going anyway. Please send my regards to my family and shouldn't me. Wait. Please, Yuri! Yeah, yeah! Come on, I wanna see this happen. Uh, Dragon Outpost, Dragon Out Palace. Ah, uh, hell no, I ain't going to no. Well. Will I have to fight him? Is the question. If I don't have to fight him in the palace, then I'm completely fine with that. This is gonna be a pain in my ass. The main mission is here. This mission is here. Um. Sure, why not? No, screw it, I wanna become a hybrid. I'm gonna do this first. Episode 51, Death Fallout. I wonder if we truly can become a hybrid. If so, that'll be amazing. If not, then I'm gonna be really kind of sad. Wait, wait a minute! Didn't didn't it become six o'clock? What the heck? Oh, so six a.m. Uh, server time is basically what eleven p.m. twelve mine. I wonder my fatigue is still uh, the same as it was last time I was on. Huh. Okay. I completely forgot to have these abilities. I need healing! Ah, welcome. You have made up your mind at last. Good, Chihi! Now accept our power! Okay, I will. It's the only way. I, your power. Yeah, you ain't gonna do it, is she? What's wrong? Are you still hesitating? Just say it! Alright, alright, I'll say it! All dimensional pet monster power, nope, I can't do it! What? Are you serious? Accepting our power is the only way to defeat the dragon. Yes, right now, you don't stand a chance. You know that, that's why you came to see us. I know, but but can't, what can I do? I can't stop thinking about my family. 
If I become one of you, I'll never be able to see them again. And I won't do that. I'm not going to join you. How disappointing. You could have been the best doll in my collection. You're leaving me no choice here. I'll beat you into agreement I, if I have to. You shouldn't have turned us down. Now I'm going to destroy you. Oh shit, I actually have to fight him. No, no. Hmm, this should be enough. Yes, I agree. Why did you stop attacking me? I thought you wanted to beat me into, to, into agreement. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. We'll let you think about it. We'll be going now. Wait, tell me one thing. Have you wanted to get rid of Astroth all along? Was that the true purpose of Kalbuk and Hannah? You finally figured it out. Yes, all this time our goal has been to get rid of that arrogant dragon. The former dragon, whom you call Hekka, was the strongest and most reliable commander of our legion. His overwhelming strength got us close to winning the war, but at that moment a new dragon finished its transformation and emerged. Astaroth. Yes, Astaroth overthrew Hekka and constructed his own domain, without submitting to the legion. Since then, he's been acting alone. And now he's even planning to wage war without us. Just think about him makes me angry. <laughs> but now that his days are numbered, we have an ace up our sleeve. Now, Yuri, take care of yourself until the time comes, okay? Ha! Huh, stay alive! You have a job waiting for you! Well... That happened. I knew she wasn't gonna accept it. Ugh. This sucks. I so badly wanted to be a half-dimensional monster. They should make another Yuri Seo character and have that one become a dimensional mon monster. That'd be fun. I would totally replay Yuri Seo just for her to become a half human and half dimensional monster. Oh well. There goes my enjoyment at seeing that. Although, to be truthful, I knew she wasn't going to do it. What's the two armor thing of uh, by his name? I never actually noticed that. Now, this time you won't miss it all the time. Bang! Thanks for the experience. I seriously wonder how many times I can get hit before that triple S goes away and becomes an S. Well, we d disobeyed uh, Kim again. I'm sorry, Kim. I had second thoughts. I didn't become a half-human, half-dimensional monster hybrid. Kim Yuri, you're, you're back. I've been watching you. You refused Ash and Dust's proposal. I'm so relieved. An offer you can't refuse a mission. <laughs> I'm still really angry that you went out there on your own, but I'm glad that you came back in one piece. I'm sorry I went against your advice and decided to become a dimensional monster, as Ash and Dust said. But the faces of my younger siblings kept showing up in my mind. I kept thinking that I wouldn't be able to see them again, that's why. Your family saved you, and it's not just your siblings who would have been sad, you know. Your parents, your school friends, and I would have been sad. I'm sorry, I won't think that anymore. Please forgive me just this once. I'll let this slide, but please don't do it again. I'll be really, really mad, okay? Anyway, we are, we're all pl being played by the Ash and Dust all the way from the beginning. All this while Ash and Dust have been shooting for one thing to get rid of Astaroth. Astaroth came to our dimension during the dimensional wars, Hekka's aid, and underwent the powerful metamorphosis here. 
Astaroth became the first to wield third phase force, drawn from both dimensions. With his new powers, he defeated Hekka and became the new dragon. At the time, this was actually a blessing for us. Hekka's army was divided, and the tide of war turned in our favor. But Ash and Dust were enraged. Victory was in their grasp, but it slipped away. To make things worse, Astaroth broke off from the Legion and completely after seizing power. So Ash and Dust decided to eliminate Astaroth, but they weren't strong enough. That was the reason Ash and Dust tried to create half-human, half-monster beings like Hulbuck and, and Hannah. They wanted to use Banish Man and Hannah to get rid of Astaroth. As infuriating as it sounds, every single one of us was a pawn in that plan. Uh, yeah we were. I'm glad you're back safely, but now we're back to square one. Director Lane is reinitiating the plan with the bomber, to bomb with them with phase inversion shells. We're planning to blast the demiplane out of the sky. With it, of course, the kingdom will also take heavy damage. It can't be helped, there's a sacrifice we have to make. Yes, I see. But it looks like they've realized our plans. Dimensional monsters with long-range attacks have started massing in the demiplane. They're trying to shoot down our bomber before it can fire phase inverting shells. Without that bomber, our mission will fail. So I need you to attack the dimensional monsters where they are and scatter them. And if you run to Astaroth, get away as fast as possible. You know that you can't beat him, right? Haha, <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm not going to pick fights with him anymore. Okay, good. Please go to the Dragon Palace right away. Be careful. So if you need the combined powers of a human and a dimensional monster, can't Ash and Dust fight alongside me and then our powers colliding can turn to Phase Force 3 in, in and of itself? Wouldn't that be possible? Huh. Well, it's a good thing I didn't come over here then. Because the next quest was, of course, to come here anyways. So let's do this. Master Arth, I come for you yet again. Man, that ability does a lot. It is amazing. Not as good as that slash, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> Even that slash deals enough damage to kill them in one hit. Thanks for trying. Eh, screw it. How the? Did they really just move me? What the heck? My mana though is really starting to deplete. <laughs> that one ability just basically killed the entire mini boss's health. Goodbye, fools. Again, closing. What the heck does that even mean? Dragon Astroth, let's go. Nice to see you again, human warrior. Have you finally decided to submit to me? Hmm, who are you talking to? I'll never submit to you. I'd better get out of here. Why do you insist on being foolish? I've given you several chances and you've refused every time. I'm not going to let you run this time. This time I'll execute you myself. Oh really? Let's do this. Oh, 
You're done? Well, what the? What did you do? You've made me bleed. No human is strong enough to beat me. Um, I have no idea how I did it, but it feels good to be able to hit you. This, this is the Elder's handiwork. Those conniving rascals. But you can't keep this up. Your body can't handle their power. Try to beat me and you'll destroy yourself in the process. Huh? I'll destroy myself? What are you talking about? Uh, what, what the? I can't breathe. I'm burning inside. Ugh. Ha, huh, it's already affecting you. Ha <laughs> ha You don't want to die, do you? Then you'd better not strain yourself. Go back. If you don't want to die, then stay out of my way. Yeah, Ash and Dust definitely did something to me, alright? They inject some of the- When they attacked me, did they inject some of their power inside of me? Huh. I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. All I know is that... I hope that it becomes 6 a.m. on the server soon. Almost hit retry. If it doesn't... I'm not gonna be able to do missions soon, soon enough. <laughs> Carol, you defeated the dimensional monster poisoning the clouds. Thank you. That was certainly a close one. Unfortunately, some of the special units agents were exposed to the toxic rain. We rushed them straight to de decontamination, but I can't guarantee that it won't have any effect on them. It seems like the dimensional monsters damage our environment just by being here. The enemies of the whole planet are not just humankind. Please keep up the good work. Eliminate those monsters any time they appear. Will do. Kim? I'm not dreaming, am I? Astaroth ran because you heard him. Did I see that, right? I, I don't know what's going on, but I hit him. I felt my blows connect for sure. Power was flowing within me. I've never felt like that before. Then my body started to hurt. What in the world is going on? Aha! Excuse me, it's because we helped out. Hmm, I still feel a little stiff from it. Ash and Dust, you're hijacking our communications again. Hey, perfect timing, explain this to me. Remember the last time we fought? I did something fun to your body during our last little tussle. I knew it. We put out part of our power inside you, deep inside you. And I called that. <laughs> so you had third phase for us in a sense. A mix between human and dimensional monster power. Ah, I can feel my power inside you, it's so pure and clear. Yes, I've never felt so warm like this. Once we get you in our hands, we're going to have so much fun, Yuri. Ha <laughs> ha! You've sneaked your powers into Yuri's body, but her body can't handle that. Exactly, that's why you should hurry. Hurry up and use that power to attack the dragon before his body fails. Good luck, Yuri. We'll be rooting for you. Go, human. Go and slay the dragon. Let beings of all dimensions witness his death. I'd be glad to. I don't know much about how much trust I should put in Ashen does, but one thing's for sure. You can hurt Astaroth now. It might be possible to take him down. I don't like the idea of using it, but if I can protect Ganem, I'll use this power. I'm going to protect Ganem, I want my bonus, and I want to go shopping in Gangnam. Yes, please do, we'll be counting on you. I'll tell Director Lane to delay the bombing yet run again. You head straight for Astaroth. This will be the final battle. Kingdom's future is in your hands. Go proudly, Agent Yuriseo, and go show them the power of human spirit. Aye aye, sir. I'm on my way. In the meantime, you can start planning a party. Don't be getting cocky, Yuri. We don't know what's going to happen to your body after we use this power again. It might tear you to pieces. Or you might become accustomed to it and be able to use third face force. Which I'm hoping you actually will be able to do. Daddy, Using a third that? face force sounds cool. I want you to use it. You're down. Whoops.
What the heck is this for? Tell you what. Bye, Solita. Really? Okay. Now you loaded. Yeah, yeah. Much better this spawn. Yeah, I'm back, Astro. You, you've ignored my warnings again. I can't believe you came back. I told you that power you may have, that power you have may be able to hurt me, but it will kill you too, don't you get it? Why are you so determined to kill me? Are you not afraid to die? I don't want to die, but if I let you go on, other people will die. I don't want any more of that. So you're going to die trying to kill me, is that it? Well, do your worst. I'm the dragon. I'm the commander of inv an invincible army. I'll show you what I can do and you to everyone else in all dimensions. Sure thing. Oops. Come on, fool. Holy shit! Nice ability. Yeah, 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 come on. Oh, I finally see your health! Goodbye, Astra. Suck it, bitch! Ash and Dust, powerful phase entity. <laughs> Good job, Yuri. I knew you'd live up to our expectations. I know, right? I can't believe she really managed to defeat the dragon. You guys again? What is it this time? M my body, it's burning. I'm not surprised. A human body can't withstand our power. You managed to use that power to take down the dragon. As a result, the dragon's domain has chosen a new master. A new master? Who's that? Oh my god, is Yuri the new master? You, of course. The one who defeats the dragon becomes the new dragon. That's the rules. Now it's your time to choose, Yuri. You can wait, wait for our power to kill you, or... You can enter into a contract with us. You can transform into a dimensional monster and command a legion. The new legion commander? Me? Yes, our original goal was to destroy the traitorous dragon and his legion at the same time, but you've really impressed us. We decided to change our plans to accommodate you. We want you to become a new dragon and command his legions. Aren't you excited? What do you say, human? We're waiting. Sign the contract and rule with us. 
Yeah, ha! Huh. What are you guys talking about? I told you before. What I want to become is a government official, not a dimensional monster. If I become a dimensional monster here, I'll never become a government official. Oh, you may, you may have skills, but you're not very bright. If you die here, you'll never become anything, let alone a foreign government official. You're just going to die a meaningless death. Is that what you really want? You guys are the ones who aren't understanding right now. I'm already a government official in my heart. I'm using my power to serve the people. Government officials exist to serve the people, and I'm doing that, so... So shut up! They say fools are fearless. Did you even forget to fear death? I thought you'd beg for your life, but I guess we underestimated your foolishness. Heh, but you've managed to surprise us once again. This is getting interesting. So it's time for a change of plans. Huh? What plans? Heh, you probably wouldn't understand even if we told you, so I'll summarize. We're going to let you live, Yuri. We'll take back the power we gave you, thank you very much, and we're going to destroy the dragon's domain. Please reconsider your path for the next time we meet. This will be the last time we take it easy on you. Bye bye, Yuri. Let's play again later. Oh man. This shit is getting real and I am enjoying it. Boom! Seven minutes and three seconds. That's the longest time I've ever spent on a mission. Holy crap. We finally beat Astroth. Please come back. And here we are, the Black Lands. Say her, what's wrong? No! Why? Why'd you forget to say? Oh shit! Say her why? No! 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 Yepo, 유감이네요, 아저씨. <웃음> 아, 네. 아저씨 아니라니까. 그리고 누가 남자 구실을 못하게 됐다는 거냐? 우와, 아저씨 화났다. 모두 도망쳐요. 형, 형이라고요? 형이란 말 하기 싫어. 아저씨가 형이라고요? 언니, 잠시 뒤에 보고를 드려도 될까요? 다들 수고했으니까 잠시 저대로 있게 해주고 싶네요. 책임은 제가 질 테니까 부디. 어, 언니. <웃음> 다행이야. 모두 무사히 돌아와서 정말 <웃음> 네 다녀왔어요 언니. 아 <웃음> 예. Oh, yeah. <웃음> Such a nice ending to that story. But I'm still not 55, so I can't do the Rage Cube. <laughs> oh, come on. I've wanted to do that for quite a while now. And by that, I mean like four days, I think. We won! You did it! Astaroth is defeated and his demi plane's gone! Kingdom is safe once again! I'm, I'm really proud to be your commanding officer! Are you crying? Don't cry. I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just a bit emotional. But you're rather calm. Aren't you happy about protecting Gangnam? 
Hey, hey, actually, I feel like it wasn't even me that beat the bad guys. It wouldn't have been possible without Ash and Dust's help. I'm a bit annoyed. I want to be stronger. So my goals have changed a little bit. I don't want to just become a government official. I want to become the strongest government official. You will, believe me. I'm, I've been watching you all this time. Which means I'll get a bonus. Bonus. Bonus? I'll take it up with HQ, but don't get your hopes up. We're still on a tight budget. We have to rebuild Kingdom, you know. The rebuilding of Kingdom in New Seoul will begin soon. Why don't you go have a long, good long rest in the meantime? But don't let your guard down. We still have lots of things for you to do. Yes, missions are always welcome. I'm Yuri Seo, and I'm the greatest civil servant. Damn straight you are. But I don't need this evac support box. <laughs> Sector cleared. Wow, just enough. Holy crap, let me get through all this. Alright, now that that's done, Wasn't direct to lane. Well, what a great timing, Yuri. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I'm prepared to head out. You're always so reliable, Yuri. So what's the mission? Eager, I'd like to see that. The situation in Gangnam is just out of control. We need to send more agents soon. But as of right now, we can't even get our agents out there. The roads are completely blocked up with monsters. I need you to head out and clear up Gangnam Boulevard. I asked the other agents as well, so you're not Gangnam Boulevard's only hope. I'd love to see you out there, though. If you help us stabilize Gangnam Boulevard, I'll see that you get an extra reward. Alright, I'll do that. Ah, oh, Yuri, you, you did a good real good job. You saved Kingdom. I love you. Thanks. Uh, I feel like I only won because of luck. I should train more and get stronger. What's up with you? You did well. Be proud of yourself. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, smile like that. Can we rest now? I really want to take a shower. Uh, I really wish I could, but I don't think I can do that for a while. Not all the dimensional monsters have been rounded up yet. Plus, we need to rebuild this entire destroyed city. Miss Kim has been appointed as field director of the rebuilding project, so I'm sure you'll be part of the action soon. Oh, I see. There really is no end to what we have to do. Yeah, you're probably you're probably right. How about we go about going to find Celine before you start? From what I've heard, she's the only one that's got assigned to a different location. Go and say your farewells. Really, God, I'll go say bye to Celine. Oh man, Celine's leaving. Really. I don't want to say goodbye to her. I want her to become my assistant. I become her assistant. I do I want. Uh, what should I do? Huh, is something wrong? You don't look so good. Did you get sent to a weird place? Is that it? Ah, oh, Yuri. Uh, well, an unidentified structure appeared in the place Hekka emerged. They ordered me to bring it to headquarters. I have a strange feeling about it. It's emitting some kind of energy. You worry too much. The bad guys are beaten. If something happens, just call me. I'll run right to you. But could you do that? Thank you so much. Uh, I couldn't do anything to help you until the very end. I'm setting a bad example for you. No way, without your help, we couldn't have taken down those beasts. I'm so glad I got to fight with you. Let's do it again sometime. Ah, uh, thank you for saying that. I'll head off to HQ as soon as I'm ready. You should go to Miss Kim and get her briefing on the recovery efforts. You're a beautiful and tough person. Let's meet again soon. I wonder how, how she would talk if I was like Seho or, or Jay or Mistletoe. I wonder how she would react. Yuri, did you talk to Aiden and Celine? Aiden and Celine and the head and some especially in the offices will be transporting the structures we found on the ground in Gangnam. HQ has ordered the rest of us, including you and me, to assist with the new sale disaster recovery effort. Oh, they're not letting up at all. What should I be doing? Wait a moment. I'll brief you in a little while. Okay. The general restoration plan is this. The Special Union and Disaster Recovery Team from Uni will get rid of the rubble and reconstruct the destroyed buildings. But there are still dimensional monsters all over New Seoul. The rebuilding can't proceed if there are still monsters around. Getting rid of the remaining pockets of dimensional monsters around the rebuilding sites will be your main task. Let's start the operation immediately. Go to Ron and ask her to transport you to the staging area as usual. Oh. So we're going to the Kingdom Evac Center. Okay. Now we need to go there, but first, I was asked by Director Lane to go do Gangnam Boulevard real quick. So let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the? I'm still getting chased by Hekka? 
What? This mission's sending me back in time. What the hell? I thought it would be just a nice, calming mission. Uh, I thought not. I thought wrong. I mean, what the hell? Hekka, I defeated the one you that killed you. Come on, stop chasing me. Come on, give me that purple. This is so not right. The hell game. Bye. Almost there. Boss time. Oh yeah, this is the one with the double bosses, I forgot. Wanna do this to me? Fine. Let's go. Ultimate. Goodbye. And that's my last mission over here. Oh, 52 as well. Nice. Hall of Dragons unlocked. The Hall of Dragons are an area filled with dimensional monsters has opened. Enter the hall and test your skills. Okay. I don't really care about that when I, you know... All I want to do is do the Rage Cube. You did great work. I've been hearing all about it. Here's something in return. Thanks for taking care of that. What? What? That's the shittiest experience I've ever gotten in this area so far. What the hell? Oh, I'm glad you're here. I almost forgot to tell you something. Do you remember the training programs you went through at the Gordo in Han High School? Oh, hey, the, uh, virtual reality. It looks like Binda has updated training program again. This time it's based on a data that the enemy is near getting the Mepac Center. This time it sounds like you'll need a white disc. Binda will have the details for you. Uh, Binda's over here somewhere, right? I think I ran into her like once or twice. There she is. Agent, it's so good to see you again. You're ready for the new training program, right? You'll need to craft a white disc for this one. I'm updating the matter mixer. Here we go, just take this to the matter mixer. Okay. Now just craft a white disc with the materials I gave you. Once you create the matter mixer, come back to me. I know what to do. So... Craft... Training... White disc... Craft. Okay. I crafted the white disc. Well done, you can use that to get into new training program and other agents inside right now, so we just need to wait for them. Yep, I'll wait. I'm going to text Sylvie while I wait. I'll ask when she's free to watch th that show of hers together. Hmm, no reply yet. She must be busy doing important Sylvie things. She always keeps herself so busy. Why are you grinning like that? Hi Jay, are you all done? It's my turn. I finished too. Good job, Tane. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. I am too. I hope I do as well as the two of you did. You will. So what were you doing? I was just texting Sylvie. We're planning to watch that show of hers together. Wow, a real mes a message to and from a real person. All I've gotten this year is spam. You only get spam? Don't you have any friends? Uh, of course I have friends. I just don't like to waste time texting them. Then how about how do you talk to them? Is text messaging like passing notes? 
Tain, I thought you for sure you'd be better than me. How do you even not even know what it, what it is? Here, both of you, give me your phone numbers. Yes, here. You're going to send me spam, aren't you? What? No. I mean, I guess it depends when you consi what you consider spam. Because now that I have your numbers, I'll be texting you both a lot. Yay, yeah, text from Yuri. Oh, I suppose that's alright. Yay, yeah, I'll text both of you soon. I've got to get into the training program for now. Here's my white disc. <laughs> have you talked to your teammates lately? Do you know if they'll be coming by for training? I've been working really hard on this new program. I'm very excited for everyone to see it. Anyway, now that you have the white disc, you can head on in whenever you're ready. Just to expire after one use, though, remember, head on in as soon as you're ready. I know, did he want me to give you a bug lump? Huh. Well, in any case, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next one, where we will head into the training area, and that... Is this Sylvie? Uh, character info. No, this is Yuri. This is Yuri in a bikini with glasses. I think it's Yuri, right? No, it's Sylvie. Yeah, I was right. Sylvie. Oops. Oh, in any case, yeah. See you guys later in the training program.